Jackson here again, and I'm going to show you how to now make this moon rotating around the Earth longer in a fast way. It's very similar to how we did the jellyfish. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. The first thing I want to do is I want to take the moon, Earth, clouds, and Earth day map, and I'm going to precompose them. And as you remember, they're nicely rotating. The Earth is rotating around itself, and the moon is rotating around the Earth, locked in orbit with the Earth. Okay, so I now select the moon, shift select Earth day map, control click or right click on a PC, and then precompose. And I'll call this orbit. Click on OK. And now this whole thing has been flattened. Of course, I can still open it up and see all the layers there. Now notice I did not add, if we go back to Planet 3D, I did not add the stars and Milky Way to that pre-composition because I'm going to need them in the background. Because what I'm going to do now is prep, prepare to make a spaceship with some aliens um, so that I can create more of a story. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to make this composition 60 seconds. So I'm going to go to composition settings and we're going to change this duration from 20 to, we're going to put a 1 here and a 0 here, so it's 1 minute. Click OK. And now you'll see that if I click on the zoom bar, my entire composition is 1 minute. My Milk Stars and Milky Way are not extending to the full minute, so all I have to do is extend them out. And I'm going to take this orbit and I want to get the exact um, animation that I created to loop, right? So just like the jellyfish, I can't just drag this out because nothing will happen. So like the jellyfish, I'm going to hit Command D twice, okay? I could do it more times if I wanted to. Remember, that's Control D on a PC. Um, but maybe I'll make my animation 60 seconds or one minute, so I only need to do this twice. So I have three orbit precompositions, and I'm going to have selected the first one. I'm going to hold down Shift and select the last one, and then I'm going to hold down Control on a Mac or right-click on a PC, and I'm going to go to Keyframe Assistant, Sequence Layers, Do Not Overlap, click OK. And there you go. Now we have a nice continuation with no jump cuts of this exact looping, of this exact rotation, the solar system. Okay, now I like the fact that I have one minute of this animation, but I want to be able to control it better as one layer. So once again, I'm going to, you guessed it, pre-compose. And we'll call this, uh, let's call this orbit, flattened. Okay, orbit flattened. And there you go. Now we have everything as one flat layer that I can control nicely. Okay, and you'll notice I'm going to have to adjust my background here, the stars in the Milky Way, and maybe I will make this more dramatic. So for the whole minute, let's drag these out. What we can do, remember, if we want to make things slower and longer, we can select everything, hold down Option, and drag out. But I have a feeling this is going to be too gradual now. So I'm going to drag it right to the end there. Um, let's just snap by hitting K, see where those keyframes are. I'm at 5920, so if I zoom all the way in, I can take these keyframes and just move them all the way to the end. And now maybe I'm going to make them a little more dramatic because now it's like a very, very slow movement. It's so gradual we probably won't see it very well. So what I'll do if I snap over here is I'll just actually, you know what, 
When you go all the way to the end, you can't see it. So I'm going to move these one frame before the end and then just hit J. And there we go. Okay, so let's just take a look at this and see how that Milky Way is playing in the background. Okay, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to give me a problem. Let me, let me put, make this low resolution. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I kind of feel, kind of feel like it needs to be a little less gradual. So I'm going to just take this and make it a little more twisted. So maybe, maybe to there and scale. I brought it from 100 to 135. So let's bring it up to a little bit more. Maybe 148 is fine. And my position, I had probably gone to the right if I recall. So I'm going to go, yeah, so I'm going to go a little bit more to the right there. And that's going to look good. So now my next step is that I want to, now, now that I have all this nice animation, I want to put this in 3D mode, okay? So I click on the orbit flattened, and that's going to be in 3D mode. So now I can add a camera. So I'm going to go layer, new, camera. And camera one is fine for the name. You could give it another name if you'd like. And we can extend the camera all the way. We may end up cutting it and going to a different camera. You can do that with After Effects. I'm going to open up my transform properties, and I'm going to click on the stopwatch for point of interest, position, and orientation. And now in custom view one, you can see the camera far away. And what I can do here is I can go maybe to like, mm, let's go to like, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds or less. Actually, we'll go to 15 seconds approximately. I'm going to hit FN up arrow or page up on a regular computer. Not a not a um, de not a laptop, just to get to 15 seconds over here, and now we can actually move the point of interest of the camera. So, as you can see, look at this. I'm making the camera look away from this rotation, and maybe I'm going to move my camera closer in. So. Let's have my camera go, instead of negative 3,704, I'm going to make it negative 2,000. Okay? And now, this is what we'll have. We have the camera looking at the Earth rotating, and then we move away from the Earth rotating. And now we have another new scene that we can populate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some space aliens and I'm also going to put a spaceship over this so it looks like we're actually in a spaceship. But that will be for the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, get to work on copying everything I've done. Um, but I want you to find some images like a spaceship with a green screen background and some animated GIFs that now you're going to add as the, as the spaceship moves away from the Earth and the Moon um, and we see something else. Maybe we see other planets rotating, or maybe we see spaceships flying by. Uh, we can also add text. So have a lot of fun with this. But I'll be giving, showing you another tutorial. Um, this will be part of your part two um, of your, uh, your next assignment. So um, this should be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.